requirement and objective of regeneration of Puerto Madero was to organize 170 hectares of land that had formerly belonged almost exclusively to the National General Administration of Ports. Because of the area's popularity, the revitalization of Puerto Madero was held as a model for Argentina state change. The harbor became made inaccessible to boats many ages after construction attributed to defective construction, taking the city into deterioration. The municipality, however, started constructing a communal esplanade at the coast, which in 1988 would become the Costanera Sur. It was a famous communal shore before water contamination rendered it unwanted in the 1950s. Many Puerto Madero proposals were drawn up, but before the regeneration of Puerto Madero in the 1990s, little was implemented to revitalize the location. Before the regeneration of Puerto Madero, most of the land was left bare and considered wasteland since people had vacated the region when the ship stopped docking there due to engineering faults. This is the administrative center Plaza de Mayo before the regeneration practice that led to the growth and the renovation of most of the buildings in the town. The faulty engineered areas in the port were the main reason that ships stopped docking there hence the place became isolated. The Madero and Huxha plan of 1885 documented what the engineers were to go over when the planning committee came up with the idea of expanding the Puerto Madero port. This is the image of Puerto Madero zone in Buenos Aires. The various keys numbered 1 to 4 were among the regions that the private investor plus the government had to develop. There was a need to increase the capacity of the warehouses to increase the ability to handle the increased numbers of ships that were set to start docking once the port became optional after the redevelopment of the region. The warehouses were created to successfully house the offices of the new investors that had also come with the aim to improve the infrastructure of the region. Telecom Tower and Catalina Norte were among the key areas in the region that invited the various shareholders after the regeneration of the region. The building was among those that housed the various investors of that period. At the central Puerto Madero, Hilton Hotel was built and which also stationed various shareholders after the regeneration. It is now a landmark five-star hotel. The airport your meal scheduled for conversion to a luxury hotel. It was among the negative development of the region that the committee saw fit to these key areas in the region that was aimed at inviting the various shareholders of the regeneration into a luxury hotel. The building was among those that housed the various investors of that period. The construction underway on Madero ST included office buildings and apartments. The Pente de la Mujer, which means Women's Bridge, designed by Santiago Calatrava, linking central Puerto Madero to the city center. The bridge was among those that attracted the various visitors in the region, increasing the access to their expenditure while providing jobs to the locals. The Edward Taylor Pier is a city landmark from 1855 until the docks development. Edward Taylor Pier received the various visitors of that period, brought in from the larger boats. The Buenos Aires Harbor around 1915 could only hold a small number of ships. It was busy from a long time ago, giving the town an advantage of being close to the sea. It was a great market center and it brought meeting of traders and investors. This is a partial view of Buenos Aires Harbor which shows the low carrying capacity of ships. 
The central train station became a part of Puerto Madero now. The connection of the train station to the port improved the transportation link to the inland. The trade in the region was improved due to the efficient supply of goods from the port city into the inland. This is the master plan of Puerto Madero, Buenos Aires. The CAPM proposed the region giving the development team a clear view of what was being proposed. The expansion of the port was to accommodate the bigger boats that were not able to dock there before. Compared to the post-development image of the district of warehouses and undevelopment land, it shows the rising development following the development map that was set before. It further shows the undevelopment land that is still under plans. The continued execution of the Puerto Madero master plan included the demolition of a number of warehouses to pave ways for high-rise buildings that will improve the economy of the region through the provision of jobs and the creation of investor-friendly environment. Luis Virgo is the lead engineer that was given the first tender to construct the Puerto Madero waterfront. He was among the elites of the time at the CAPM committee selected him to lead in the regeneration of the Puerto Madero.